Hello everybody, how y'all doing today? It's another great video coming from Redneck Ways. I hope everybody is having a great day, great Saturday on the weekend. It's been pretty nice here in Kentucky. Um, it is March the 11th, I believe. And I believe it's uh, 45 degrees. Let's see, let's check the temperature dial here. Um, da, 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 45 degrees. A little chilly here in Kentucky. Uh, let's see what that wind, our wind, we've been having some horrible winds. Um, 3.5 miles per hour, guys. That's what she's looking like today. So, but yeah, today I've been just kind of puttering around. I, um, I got my side, um, the bed, so to speak, over here, all cleaned up. My little, my little, uh, radio shack, my little playground. Um. Oh yeah, I've been cleaning. I had to dust everything. Everything over here gets so dusty. And uh, hey, Frank, how you doing, buddy? But uh, even my fan, I had to take the shop back to it, clean it. It had about an inch of dust on it. Let me get a little drink of coffee, guys. My mouth's dry. Uh, but yeah, um, I put that uh, Westinghouse. I put it to bed. Um, I got it all tucked in. I got it put up for a while until I learned a little bit more about possibly what could be wrong with it. Cause uh, one thing about Redneck Ways here, I'm uh, every day I'm learning something, learning something new. So this has uh, became my little hobby, and I truly enjoy it. Um, sometimes it's very frustrating uh, when things don't work, but you know what? Uh, that's, that's the way it is. As long as I, you know, keep on keeping on, yeah, it'll eventually work. Sometimes. But, yeah. Um, I'm back to uh, working on this uh, little three transistor radio. And I sure appreciate some of the comments I've got on it. Um, I am uh, very, very new at uh, electronics and circuitry and stuff like that. So, um... I never proclaim that I'm no expert, that's for sure. But I find it very fascinating, and it's very enjoyable. Um, this year coming, I'll be 50 years old, so I don't know if uh, electronics has something to do with uh, age or whatever. I know in my younger days, uh, I was super fascinated with uh, gasoline engines, anything like that any type of mechanics I was so interested in and that's what I've done for the last 30 years is just tinker I think I started eight years old in my father's garage uh, tinkering around with the uh, old lawnmower engines and you know learning the carb carburetors and or carburetors or however you call them and you know just the ins and outs of them and uh, Actually, today, guys, uh, I don't like working on the newer ones. They're all, they're just not like the old ones. There's plastic gears in some of them, and it's just, uh, I love Briggs and Stratton, but it really hurts my heart when I see certain things been done in today's engines. And they're pretty much just throwaway things now, guys. And I, I'm always been the type of person that, you know, want, if I have something, I want to be able to fix it, and, you know, it's just, and I want it to work longer than a season, and a lot of this new stuff you get nowadays, unless you pay the big bucks, that's all you're going to get, you're going to get one cutting season out of something, and then you may be lucky the next summer or next spring that it's going to start for you, so... That's why I kind of got out of doing that, and then I was kind of really bummed because I didn't really know what else to get into. Um, I always been the type of person, always wanting to tinker, always wanting to do this and that, you know, fix things, um, and I just didn't. I hit a dead end, and then one day I seen a um, a show, or not a show, but um, just like a little thing on YouTube little video about a crystal set and that just totally amazed me and I made my first one which here over here is my first crystal set let me get it out of here without breaking everything 
here's my first crystal set. Um, very easy to make, and it, it, at first it wasn't easy for me. I, I had a lot of problems trying to figure it out because, like I say, guys, I knew nothing about circuitry, so it was all new thing. In the back of my mind, I always thought, even when I was working on uh, automotive stuff or lawnmowers, anything electronic, I never even tried to take it apart. I just thought it was just garbage and you go buy a new piece. So, I mean, there's probably a lot of parts that I could have took apart and probably at least patched them up to got me through, you know, for a little while until I did get a new piece. But this was my first one. Um, let me grab my, the one I used today. I'm going to trip over my daggone stool. 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 <laughs> Can't talk. Let me pause this real quick, guys. I got to go on the other side of the room. Okay, I'm back. And this is the one that I used today. Um... I've got it where um, it picks up about three or four stations. Um, real late at night, it might pick up four. Um, two of the stations, like right here, um, these two kind of, or these two, they kind of run together. Um, I've tried to make traps and everything to try to fix that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Um, here, probably about, uh, I say, about eight months ago, or I can't really remember. But I had made a, a concoction up. I was using this here, which I, I also, I forget how many turns it has on the bottom coil. But then I used that as a trap. And then I, um, I had it running into my uh, tuning capacitor. And I was getting close to six stations, guys. Um, I was, it was at the point, I was like, why did they even have to make anything else besides the crystal set because it was coming in that good i mean i was getting more stations on this than i was my am radio but uh something happened i'm there that i think i enjoyed that for about two weeks and then i took it all apart for some reason thinking i could just put it back together and i have never got back to that so i don't know exactly what's wrong but i continue today to do that i mean i this here gets in this is the closest I've got to it so far. I, um, I built this coil um, about three weeks ago. And this is the first one that I've actually had taps on. And not used like a, a, a bicycle spoke or anything. So, and then I got my tuning, um, my antenna tuner too, which I've been working on. Because I'm, I'm in the process of saving a little bit of money to get me a nice radio so I could uh, hear more um, get on more bands and stuff um, this uh, Lloyd solid state it does pretty good but um, it seems like there's a few uh, bands that just does not pick up so I'm just uh, like I say guys just learning um, experience on everything and um, I came this close getting a really nice, um, oh, what was that radio called? It escapes my mind now, but um, the guy, um, I was getting ready to buy it the, the following Friday when I seen it on um, online. And I went to put my money on my card, my PayPal, and I went and clicked into eBay and I noticed that it had already been sold. So... I lost that one, but they still sell the new ones, but uh, they're a little bit pricey. But uh, it's just going to be a saving thing. Uh, I'm gonna, actually, right now I'm saving for a laptop. And um, that way maybe I can make a, make my videos a little bit more um, viewable. So um, I'm always just trying to look out for the future and try to make this uh, little YouTube channel I have a little bit better it's also a little hobby of mine i love sharing the things my wife she thinks this stuff's pretty cool but um as far as interest in it she don't give a crap and um i'm glad there's people out there that do and then i'm glad there's people out there also like to help people when they're stumped on something and help and uh, i definitely fall in that category category of one of those people that need a lot of help so <sighs> Let's move on for all of that, guys. Um, I went to my flea market yesterday, and um, they had no radios again. This makes like almost a solid month that there has not been one radio down there. But I did, uh, I did find um, a nice little treasure. I got, I found this little Pac-Man game. 
um, I kind of collect these. Uh, I only have two so far. I have this one, which it works really good. I only uh, gave two dollars for that one, which is pretty cool. And then I got this one back last spring, kind of almost the same time period, just different year. I got this in 2022 and the Pac Man in 2023. Let me turn this one on. And um, I've got one, I have one more that I want to pick up. When I, when I have the extra $15, because it's a little pricey, it's Joust, and it's down at a store um, that's called Time Warp, down in uh, downtown Ashland, so uh, one day, uh, he had a couple copies of this, of Joust, down there, so hopefully he still has them, it's been a couple weeks since I've been in there, but uh, yeah, I love these little things. And I was very, very happy to see that. But like I said, other than finding this, uh, there's really nothing been going on down there at my flea market. But uh, really, it's been cold, and there's been no outside vendors been there for weeks. So hopefully things will change here in our near future, and I'll have some more radios. Because I was actually, I went to Walmart, and I was going, I was looking at their radios, and I was, because I was kind of wanting one to, a new radio to show on my channel. And the only thing they had was a little Sony transistor radio, which I don't even think it was transistor. Um, it, it was small. It looked like a transistor, but it was probably not, because it, it even had a, a rechargeable battery inside. It was, I mean, it was Sony. It was, looked like it was nice. But I had remembered, I've seen somebody else um, go over that radio on another channel. And then they had another little radio, uh, had a gorilla on it or something, and I can't, uh, that's the only thing I remember, I don't remember the name, but uh, it had like the weather band, and um, what else did it have, it had a flashlight, it had some stuff, but they wanted like 40 bucks for it, and it just was not worth it, to me it wasn't, so, I'm sorry guys, I haven't had no new radios to show here lately, but hopefully our luck will change on that. All right, let me put all this stuff up, guys, and I want to uh, go over that what I'm going to be doing on this uh, little three transistor radio. Um, I got my soldering iron heated up because uh, a few gentlemen have uh, explained to me I've done some things wrong, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some stuff off, and I'm gonna get that ready for tonight. I usually do my best work around after everybody, all the my wife's in bed, and I know all the kids are safe and tucked in. And uh, I really can concentrate, and that's when I do a lot of my work. And then it's like reading a book to some people. It makes me sleepy, and I sleep like a baby. So I'll be right back. Let me uh, put all this back up, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. All right. Now, um, I have uh, drawn out the schematic for this three-transistor radio. And it's big enough for, so everybody can see what I'm doing. What I'm working on here. Now, um, all this right here was pretty easy. Only questions I have, the only concern I have is my transformer. Um, I don't know if that one's going to work. So, I mean, I have a few more of them. That's not going to be a okay problem. I could probably get that solved if uh, if that one fails to work. And all um, I've got all my transistors in the right position. By my little cheater, I got this little thing I cheat with. Told me um, what was the emitter and what was the collector and all that. And so I got all this, and if it was a PMP or an MPN, so I've got all that in place. Um, I know all my um, resistors are correct, and they're the the they're the right um, current and everything. Um, what else? So I know all this is right. Now, I'm having problems, and I don't know why, because it's probably one of the easiest things to learn in electronics, but is my ca um, capacitors. Um, I had got a batch of capacitors in, and they're just the little round disc capacitors. I don't know if I have... Yeah, here they are. And I just don't know how to read them. Um, now, the... all. Um, the Ultraletics, I know how to read those because, I mean, it's pretty, come, you know, straightforward on those. Let me set you guys down here. Actually, turn you all around here. 
Let me see what be the best way here. I'm sorry, guys, probably making y'all dizzy. But let me open this up. But uh, let's see, what's this one say? This is a 33P. Okay. Um, out of all these um, capacitors in this package, none of them say anything like, um, where's a, a good example? Like, none of these say like 100 microfarads or nothing like that. And then I needed, uh, what was the other one? Um, a 0 0.05 microfarad. Uh, there was nothing in this big old bag of capacitors, so I may have to get on the inner streams and just order um, a bunch more capacitors that have, like, you know, the 100 microfarads and stuff. Because um, I've looked these up and everything, and even my little cheat thing, it don't really help me figure if that's a 100 microfarad or what, so... I'm kind of stumped on that, but I think I'm um, pretty close on this because now I use Ultraletics on these because, like I said, that's the easiest thing for me to uh, soften that it would be right. So I think that one is 100 at 16 volts, which is supposed to be 100 microfarads, but it is a 16 volt. And this one here... Um, no, oh, that's the uh, that's a zero, uh, the point zero five microfarad, and I can't remember exactly what that was. I don't know if you can see it on there. I can't see it unless I get my little um, magnifying glass out. But I think it was very close. So I mean, there's a, I do have a little concern about these being, but usually as long as everything I've tinkered with, as long as um, it's a little bit higher and not less it's been okay so because these are very <clears throat> very easy circuits um I, i'm getting them straight out of an elementary book pretty much so i mean it is like i said i'm i'm learning and this is an all learning experiment but uh this is was my, was my question here a while back right here and a gentleman, he had uh, sent me a uh, comment, and he helped me. He explained. I wrote his comment here. But um, I think that's going to help me out a lot on this. And now, um, on another comment, um, i seen. Now, I was, I was wondering about this, because I didn't. When I put this on, I didn't know if it was going to work. I figured it wouldn't, because it just wasn't making sense. So, I'm going to go ahead and gonna take that off, if it'll come off easily. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because that this is going to be this is a problem. It's not right. So let's go ahead and we'll get that out of the circuit. Hopefully I can do it one handed this one. Now uh, on that one comment from one gentleman, even that that's wrong. So that's got to go too. But he even said I may have the wrong diode. Now um, I'm using a oh gosh I forget. It's a it's a germanium diode. I know that, but I had ordered it for my crystal sets, so I've got to do a little research on that because I have a whole bag of different diodes, so I'm sure I have the right one. So we got that potentiometer off of there, and I'll go ahead and we get this um, tuning capacitor out too, because he had mentions um, that that's even the wrong one, which I can't I don't understand because this literally came out of a tra uh, transistor set like a 19. Uh, 51 52 transistor set that I recycled so I got I got to do a little research I have a lot of them little tuning capacitors so I'm pretty much down to where I should be on this um, I'm going to take uh, where's that diode right here I'm going to take this all apart here later on this evening and uh, that's my going to be my starting point I'm going to start here and uh, I'm going to uh, go by that one guy's comment and see if I can figure that out and I really appreciate any help guys because uh, um, now I'm I did do a two transistor radio but it seemed like it was a little bit easier I don't know why I'm having the problems with this uh, up here with this hookup and I did 
I, I'm pretty sure it was the same setup. So, but yeah, all right. Um, if you watched my video last night, I hooked up that Bose stereo. Let me unplug my soldering iron, guys, so it don't burn out. All right. And uh, yeah, if you all uh, watched my last video, um, I hooked up a, a set of Bose speakers to a uh, just a Panasonic, um, just an old, old uh, stereo system to see how the speakers would sound. Well, the stereo that I was using ended up being junk. Um, so what I want to do too um, in this little video is we'll take that. I want to take that tape player because the tape player decks didn't work. I'm going to take it apart and we'll take a peek inside there and see if there's anything that we may find to fix the problem. And um, also, I had the speakers hooked up wrong. I had there's four wires on each speaker wire that hooks to that stereo, and the two that I had it hooked to, two of them was for the tweeters, and that's what I had. And then after the video, I went back in. I was cleaning up my mess. And I had noticed that I had it hooked up wrong. I hooked it up the right way. And guys, let me tell you, those speakers, for them to only be like a three, uh, two or three inch speaker, sounds wonderful. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy how good those things sounded. And I, I hate it so bad that y'all didn't get to hear it. So hopefully, if I can get that radio to work again, I'll, I'm gonna I want y'all to take a listen to those Bose st uh, speakers. So let me. Um, Go and get prepared for that. I'm going to bring the tape player over here to my desk and get it, get it ready to be taken apart, guys. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. Oh, gosh. Let's sit down here. Alright, here's that tape player, guys. Um, if anybody didn't see that video, uh, last e or yesterday evening on my video, um, I hooked this stereo up, which here's the other part. The... The CD player, guys, that was uh, it was garbage. Um, I looked at it probably about six months ago, and there was no help for it. The laser was shot. This radio was really enjoyed and played, and um, I think it was uh, in '97 or '98 when it was bought and uh, put into the entertainment center for the family, and it played. It played uh, three boys. And one girl's music all the time. It was in the family room. So this was very well built at one time. It does have problems now. But. Uh, the person who purchased it did get their money's worth. And a little bit more. But uh, now I'm lost. I forget where how I got on to that rant. But anyway. Or not a rant. But you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Um, yesterday evening I was working on it and nothing worked um, the tuner wasn't picking up very well and all kind of stuff which today it seems like it's came back to life a little bit more in the in that video I was hooking up these um, 1997 Bose stereo it was a CD player and a radio um, that was given to me um, it was garbage. The laser was bad in the... Actually, it had a power um, supply problem. And um, I um, kept the CD player in case I needed it or somebody else needed it on down the road. And so I, I packaged, it, packaged, packaged it up well. And um, that way it's safe. And hopefully one day it'll be used again. But these speakers are great, guys. Um... Bose knew how to do speakers, that's for sure. And I'm going to show that here in a minute. Um, but yeah, um, this tape player, the tape deck did not work last night. We put tape in and it just uh, sat and looked at us. And it did not say a word. It just uh, it busted. So today, um, I was going to recycle it, but I thought we'd just crack into it. And see, take a peek inside and see what's going on. So, that's what we're going to do. But first, let's see if I can find a good song. So, you guys, I want y'all to hear how good these speakers sound. That really don't have any bass in it. I'm trying to find a song that has a lot of bass. Because it's unreal on how these things hit. Key 100, 
the Tri-State's number one at music So, hopefully I'll get a song come on. Album, Endless Summer Vacation. That was called River. It's Katie, and you've got another new Miley coming up for you at 7. It's a clock, yeah, it's thick, dirty. I've been through a lot, but I'm still flirty. Is everybody back up in the building? Yeah, they hit pretty hard, guys. And it's, it sounds even better if the antenna would do right. But it don't. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. It just, it's not um, getting, it's not taking in signal good. But um, it even sounds better than that if the stereo was working like it's supposed to. So, let's crack into this, guys, before I get a copyright claim. Oh, buy my glasses. Looks like it'll be easy to take apart. Looks like four screws. I do know one thing. The, um, the tape decks are dirty. They're dusty. And, but, um, I don't believe that's causing it not to kick on. It's not into anything. Oh, mercy. Oh, it's so hard to do things one-handed. Let me see if I can get y'all propped up. Move my little tank. I set all my little toys like that out my little grandson he absolutely just loves them he comes in here and gets them he said the other day he told my wife she, he said this was uh jensen and papaw's playing so i guess i'm sharing let me see if y'all see what i'm doing here all right These screws are in there a little bit tougher than I thought. Man, oh man, what's the deal? I don't want to strip them no more than I already have. All right, I want to go get the big tools, guys. I'll be right back. Let me pause this. All right, I'm back. Let's see if this will get it out. Let's see what she looks like in there, guys. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of stuff going on in there. What? Is that like overcomplicated for a tape deck? What in the world? Are y'all seeing this? It's kind of like what the CD player looked like too, guys. It kind of boggled my my mind. Alrighty. Um. Gosh. 
I don't even know where to start on it. There's a coil. This is definitely not like an average tape deck. Look at these motors. I guess that's the the belts are in order. There's one on that side. I see the small one in the front. And there's the other side. They're both on. And they me feel them. Yeah, there's, they feel good. They're not gooey. Not gooey ooey. So, what's going on with it, guys? You plug it in, and it just it makes a hum. And, um... For the ones that didn't see the video yesterday evening... And it's all push button. That's probably why it's so complicated inside. So let's get some power on it. So let me pause it. And let me get it hooked up to the stereo. And we'll see what's going on. If we can. If not, I just wanted to make this video, guys. So we can look inside of it. Before it gets recycled to the recycle place which the belts I say there's somebody out there in this big gigantic world that probably needs them because they're in great shape but there's probably not much wrong with that if I was more a better tech at electronics probably probably an easy fix but uh, this it looks over complicated Sorry guys, I had that in Zoom all that time. And it was all pixelated. Alright. Um, oh man, I'm already up to 10 minutes on this segment. Alright, let me pause this guys. We'll put some power to it. And see what it does. See if it does anything. Okay guys, I'm back. Let's see. Let's uh, power, power her up. Oh... Oh, that's a good view of my garbage can. Great. Oh, I usually don't film in this angle. Let's see. Tape. Nope, it says CD. So. I think I got the wrong cord hooked up to it. Okay, we got tape. Um, put tape in it. Get it out of here without tearing up everything. Now I don't want to put it. No, it don't go that way. Huh, don't want to close. Let's try this door. Feel the motors running. Hmm. Get my flashlight. Yeah, it's barely turning. So I guess maybe those belts aren't good. I don't know if you can see it turning or not. Um, I 
first of all, let me switch these wires. I'll put it over on BCR for a minute. We'll switch these hookup wires. Because it said CD, I probably got, got the wrong wires hooked to it. It's got two different one of these ribbon cords. I don't know if there's any difference in them or not. Um, here's that other one. Alright, here we go. Let's see if it'll play. There we go. We're getting some action. Let's see. I don't know what. Let's see. Is it? We'll be down here on tape. I don't hear anything. The belt's not working. Huh. We'll get more than what we did yesterday. There's the rewind. There we go. Let's get a good take. I don't know what the world. Maybe I had the. Maybe I had the wrong ribbon. The whole time. Oh gosh, about fell out of my seat. Let's see here. Let's shut this door. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It ain't very good on this side of the room. Let's eject it. Where's the eject? There's the eject. Slow eject. Let's put it in this one. Push play if I can find it. Like I said, the lighting's horrible, guys. There's play. Well, now we're back to nothing. Hmm. It's rewinding. rewind it guys I'll pause it what does that let's see push stop rewind was it rewound all the way yeah let's push fast forward in I used to be an expert on these I used to be cha ching cha ching Huh. May ate the cake, guys. It's acting crazy here. Let's see. Now it don't want to open all the way. What is going on? This thing. Did I break it now? Oh, man. No. It is acting possessed. 
why? It's like there's something. Oh, it may not be. It may not have. Let's see. Let's push. I don't know. It may be. See, this one don't even want to close. And she's got problems, guys. This one don't want to close, and now this one don't want to close with a tape anymore. We're so close, guys. So close. Alright, I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm sure it might be something easy I can figure out. It just... It's not wanting to... I think the... Let me pause it real quick and let reset it. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just, it was just me not knowing what I was stinking doing, guys. Ready? probably do guys I'll just clean this real good I think we got a tape player it's a good thing maybe I it's a good thing we went through it I'll clean it real good put it all back together that's good I got another tape deck all right guys that's we're going to wrap this one up today and I hope you all continue to have a great weekend and um, all that good stuff and also um, to uh, have a great safe weekend and uh, always try to learn something new that's one of my vices that's what I've always done in my life I've always tried to learn something new I've done flooring I've done everything landscaping always keep that mind busy and learning guys and you can't go wrong you just can't go wrong so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again real soon here on Redneck Ways. Bye, guys.